I'm Alex Harrison, and this is Todd Fund, and we do what's fun. On today's assignment, we will be doing a Christmas graphic on the Apple II. And I'm going to be teaching Alex how to do the AppleSoft basic programming using the original tutorial book that comes with an Apple II. I got an Apple II Plus that Alex is working on, and I'm working on an Apple IIe. Uh, there's a big difference between those two, uh, but that's not really the video. The video is learning some programming that I did when I was in high school, uh, which was to draw this Christmas tree. I was given this assignment in high school to make a tree with blinking lights, and now my son is learning to do the same exact high school project. This is the Christmas tree that we already programmed into the Apple II and saved onto this disc, which I'll soon be showing you running. And at the end of the video, I will show it in full color. This is the floppy disk, and it's called floppy disk because it flops. I'm going to put the disk in the drive and load up the code. I'm going to load the program onto the computer now. I'm going to list the program for you now so you can see the code. That's it. We're going to review the code later, but I just want to show you what it looks like right now. As you can see, we have the Christmas tree with the blinking lights and the, the four presents at the bottom. What does it say? It says, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Okay. Let's uh, look at the code. As you can see, 10 to 40 is just getting the Christmas tree started and putting it into low-res graphic mode. And 45 to 150 is getting the triangles for the tree starting using a go sub mode to 1000. We use the same sub-program to draw all three triangles, but just in different shapes and sizes and location. After the triangles, this program starts the star that plots the star at the top of the tree. 209 down to 255 uses a loop to draw brown vertical lines at the bottom of the tree to make the trunk. Okay, I see it. Next, we have to use a sub-program to draw these presents at the bottom of the tree multiple times. This section draws the gifts underneath the tree. We plug in four variables to get different color, shapes, sizes, and location. And 370 and 380 prints out at the bottom Merry Christmas. The last step is to plot the lights and have them forever change their color. This is uh, the section that draws the lights on the tree. Uh, we pass an X and a Y coordinate for each light bulb, then we go sub to, a, to program line number 2000, which actually plots that light with a random color. Then it comes back with a return and does the next light. And we have nine lights that each go sub and each picks a random color when it draws it in the, ghost, in the sub program. At line 700, it returns to 400, which is the top of this line, and it re redraws those same lights in the same spots, but Every go sub does a different color because there's a random generator in the go sub to make a new color for each light. And this repeats forever, constantly flashing the lights. 800 and 900 draw the gift boxes with the variables given to it. The sub triangle section draws the triangles with the variables given. The last section, the sub light section, chooses a round number from 1 to 15, which is a different color, that plots the light with a different color with the coordinates given to it. Well, uh, that was a whole lot of fun. The reason I was so interested in doing this assignment with my son is that when I took programming, uh, learning Apple Basic when I was in high school, we had an assignment at the end of the semester right before Christmas to make this very assignment, a Christmas tree with packages and some blinky lights. And the reason I think the instructor assigned it is because it exercises if you, you have certain certain types of programming um, uh, methods you had to implement in order to do this, in order to get the points. And we did try and incorporate those things. Basically just 
standard uh, Apple Soft basic programming tutorial uh, manual stuff. And Alex showed you the things and the different types of uh, programming features we used. Um, and it really uh, demonstrates some decent basic programming. And it was a fun assignment. I remember doing it. Some of my classmates kind of went overboard. They put windows in the background and they had snow falling in the background. And then they, uh, they had like, uh, like a mouse run across or something like that. I mean, some of my classmates really went overboard. Uh, I just did the basic Christmas tree with the lights and handed my assignment in and was excited that Christmas was coming. So we're going to end with the video by hooking up a colored monitor. Um, and so you can uh, kind of watch that. Uh, Alex is going to play some Christmas music on the piano. And then we'll, uh, we'll just watch the, uh, the pretty little basic program running in full color. Okay, I'm just going to start warming up.